artists, let's talk about the proximity effect. So the proximity effect is how your voice sounds the closer you get to the mic or the further away you get from the mic, okay? And I'm gonna show you examples right now. So I'm gonna do one where the pop filter is really close and I'm, re I'm right up on the mic and I'm gonna do one when I'm farther away, okay? Let's listen. Mm. Okay, so right, right up on the mic. Don't wanna go on, don't wanna go on, don't wanna go on. You don't wanna love me anymore. Okay, so let's take a listen back to that right now. All right, here's the take we just did. So I'm gonna solo the vocals. So click the little S button, solo that. And now let's take a listen back to just my vocals. Don't wanna go on, don't wanna go on, don't wanna go on. You don't wanna love me anymore. So what you should have heard there was there's a lot of low end in my vocals. I feel really close. The, vo the vocals feel deeper, feels darker, and it feels more intimate. I mean, if that's the sound that you're going for by all means go ahead and so now i'm going to show you what it sounds like when i'm further away from the mic okay so now i'm further away from the mic as you can see so i was supposed to be right up right up on it i'm gonna be back here don't wanna go on don't wanna go on don't wanna go on you don't wanna love me anymore all right so now let's take a listen to that all right, so let's take a listen back to that. So that yellow take is the one we just did and me standing further away from the mic. And you're, you can already tell right away that the waveforms are smaller, which just means that it's gonna be quieter because I was standing further away. Uh, and so essentially how you'd fix that is just by increasing the input gain, which is literally just this knob right here, making sure that the input signal is louder. But anyway, let's take a listen to it. So I soloed it, so this is how it sounds. Don't wanna go on, don't wanna go on, don't wanna go on, you don't wanna love me anymore. So what you should have heard there is that I do sound a little bit further away, but there's not as much low end in my vocals. It's more streamlined, you can hear more of the mids, more of the highs. The problem is though, is that when you stand further away from the mic, your vocals start to sound thin. And so now you don't have enough low end. And so there's definitely a sweet spot, which I'll show you guys at the end, but now let's compare these two back to back. This is the first take. Don't wanna go on, don't wanna go on. So a lot of low end. And now let's go back to the one where I was staying further away. Don't wanna go on, don't wanna go on. So, so now there's not enough low end, but let me show you guys the sweet spot. So here's where I find the sweet spot and what I do in most of my sessions. I like to have the pop filter a few inches away from the mic. So that's my fist. So yeah, a few inches. And I like to get up right up on the pop filter. So now I'm not too far, but I'm, but I'm also not too close. Okay. So this way you get the best of both worlds and your recordings can be clean, audible, and amazing.